All right, so I hope I don't uh, start sneezing. I've been a little under the weather here. Uh, and I, I've got some exciting news for you coming up. But first, uh, you know, I, I tell you, I, I, I don't even want to watch the Zelensky speech. All them, them puppets in Congress. Yay! 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 Let's kill more people in Ukraine! Let's kill more people in Ukraine! By the way, Russia did put out another peace offering today. It'll be totally ignored, and now we're sending another $38 billion that we don't have in debt to uh, Ukraine. Sorry, my nose is uh, going crazy, but uh, let me just let you listen to Redacted. I think they summarize it all. Uh, do you realize that we are literally giving money to Hitler? I mean, this is insane. The, uh, this is the death of the U.S. empire. You're watching it happen, and that's why I call these watching the world burn. <laughs> I'm, glad you, I'm glad you gave that contact because when like, Clayton read off that headline, I was like, just 2,000 years after Alexander the Great. Or <laughs> What they're talking about here is Lawrence O'Donnell and all of the news media. You know, if you watch ABC, CBS, MSDNC, uh, uh, everybody's going, Zelensky's the greatest thing on the planet. He's the most wonderful human being. He gave the greatest speech ever, you know what I mean? I, and so it's, it's funny because most of the American public is going to go, you know, yeah, yeah, we need, we need to send, we don't need to secure our southern border. No, no, we need to send the money to Ukraine. Uh, you know, we're just pissing away this money. Ukraine has lost the war. Anyway, let's just get it going. Right. Right. Oh my God, it's so ridiculous. And you know he sat down with his producers ahead of time. Like, that was one of the greatest, most moving speeches. And at the top of this show, that's what I was talking about. Like these, That speech was written, given, delivered for the ignorant masses, right? The people that fall in line with this propaganda and who, for whom they, the sheep, the people they try to keep in line, for whom like a, a show like Lawrence O'Donnell mm -hmm. is... You know, red meat for them. Like this is something they'll watch every night. Lawrence yeah. O'Donnell. Watch Rachel Maddow followed by <laughs> Lawrence O'Donnell. What an idiot! So here's Tulsi Gabbard talking about this democracy in Ukraine that we're going out of our way to defend. Why? Now this is the reality. This is why I like Tulsi. I'd love to see her run for president. Um, she's an independent now, thank God. She's no longer associated with the Democrat Party. Um, but yeah, she's she's going to just tell you what it's all about. And by the way, she's in the U.S. Armed Forces. Do you have the Biden administration's whole foreign policy is essentially based on democracies and autocracies? We've got to divide the world between these two categories, and the U.S. is going to lead the charge for democracies to defeat the autocracies. And so they have said, hey, Ukraine is a thriving democracy, and Zelensky is this hero that is protecting this democracy, which is why Biden says we'll do everything within our power to support him. And oh, by the way, we're going to send uh, almost a uh, hundred billion of American taxpayer dollars to go and support this defense mm -hmm. of democracy. But when you actually look at what Zelensky's democracy yeah. is, you see uh, no freedom of the press. He has shut down any media that he does not control, his government does not control. He has gotten political opposition uh, arrested, made sure that that's happened. As you mentioned, he shut down the biggest Ukraine church uh, in the country. And, and I found this quote today. He has actually threatened to punish, quote, any Christian caught worshiping in unapproved ways. Oh, so on. this is the democracy that they are saying, well, we need all of your money, our money, taxpayer dollars to go and defend. This is their shining example of democracy. It hmm. And so we did have some breaking news just a short time. So yay! Yay! Let's fund that. Let's send 38 more billion dollars to Ukraine. But anyway, uh, so you say, well, why do you keep reporting on this, this shit? Uh... Mr. That Cybersecurity Guy. Well, you know, because I'm trying to help you. All right, I'm trying to get you to understand the world around you and then uh, and then get yourself positioned so that you're going to survive. Because uh, there's no way. I mean, these idiots in Congress, I mean, they, they are delusional. If you think we... And by the way, the omnibus bill got passed by the Rhino Republicans and the Democrats uh, for, by an overwhelming majority. They're spending another $1.8 of money that you, we don't have as a country, uh, that's going to promote even more inflation. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I mean, we're watching the world burn, especially the U.S. empire. We are coming down. Uh, I'm just trying to paint you the reality and, you know, get yourself prepared. But 
So I want you to come out of this uh, better off. And so I got some great news for you. I got my rankings from uh, Rick Rule. If you don't know Rick Rule, um, he is the uh, commodity investor of all time. Uh, probably one of the smartest people I've ever watched uh, on YouTube and uh, various uh, other things. Uh, Sprott, if, you, if you're not familiar with Sprott, I've, I've been talking about them. But let's go through his rankings and I will tell you, uh, let's just read the letter here. And I'm so excited to have this because I was wondering, you know, I mean, I, I, I watched, like I said, I, I haven't done my due diligence on these investments, but, you know, I've, I, well, I am. I mean, obviously, I'm trying to get Rick Rule to help me. Uh, and he does. I mean, that's the beauty of, of having somebody that has some character in the world. So it says, thank you for the honor and opportunity of grading and cons uh, commenting on your natural resource portfolio. The grades are one through 10, with one being best. Please understand that these are company rankings rather than uh, investment recommendations. I believe that investor education and outreach are the most honest and effective forms of advertising and marketing. Please don't be discouraged if you find my rankings harsh, because they are. I have given out less than a dozen one rankings in three decades of analyzing resource stocks. Note, too, that these rankings are snapshots in time, subject to rapid change, with new news, different markets, and changing share prices. And then it, it, the letter goes on, um, and so... Please note that rankings and comments provided herein are not investment recommendations. You know, because they got to say that, and I, I, that's what I'm telling you, obviously. Because on YouTube, I can't, I can't make investment recommendations. I can only just tell you what I'm doing. So let's go through what Rick Rule had to say about my investment portfolio, and I think this is great, huh? I, you know, I'm giving it to you. I'm trying to help you, man. You've got some dark times coming. You got to get prepared as best you can. And these are, I mean, do you have $250 sitting on the side that you want to invest? I mean, you know, are you sitting here with a 401k with $400,000 in it? And I uh, guess what? You've lost 30%. You know, maybe you need to somewhat uh, take control of that. Uh, I understand you're, you're limited to the investments in, in like a 401k, but are you... Are you unemployed now? Because that means that you could take that 401k and deploy it into an IRA at whatever brokerage you want. I mean, the ones that I recommend are Fidelity. Uh, you can go with uh, Charles Schwab. You can, well, I, I don't know. I, 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 E-Trade's okay. I wouldn't recommend them. That's a Morgan Stanley company. Uh, although I have not heard any, you know, bad things. But right now, I guess the, 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 the ones that I like right now are Fidelity and uh, Charles Schwab. Uh, nothing bad about those. Uh, of course, I used to use Scott Trade. Uh, I never had any uh, bad news about them. And I liked Scott Trade because you had, well, back in the day, I haven't used them in years because I had to switch when I was working for J.P. Morgan Chase. Uh, they used to give you access to ValueLine, and ValueLine is a valuable resource for ranking stocks. But let's go through Rick Rule's recommendations. Woohoo! All right, so the first one is Dolly Varden Silver Corporation. That's D-O-L-L-F, D-O-L-L-F, ranking five. So he's giving it middle of the road, all right? Grade, great grade, toy mine. Now, I'm not sure what toy mine <laughs> means. I, I guess what he's saying there is that, you know, the way these uh, mining companies work is you have to go in uh, and, you know, yeah, they, they might find you know, strikes. They might find that there's there's stuff under the ground, but if they run out of funding, uh, the mine might not ever be built. You know, now hopefully they get bought out by a bigger company that will come in and, and develop the mine. And so then you you you, you get a ten bagger, a hundred bagger uh, on that stock. Uh, so what he, I think what I, the way I interpret that is that he's saying that. He's not sure they're going to be able to develop the mine to actually get down to get to the the uh, the uh, precious metals. But great grade, I think that's good news. All right, so we got Fortuna Silver Mines, Fortuna Silver Mines FSM, and well, and you always have to worry about this. It says new political risk at San Jose. So that's that's the problem. A lot of the uh, world's um, Precious metals, uh, they're in countries around the world that, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, if, you, if, if, if the countries would open up and allow uh, 
you know, the free market to come in and mine the, uh, the, uh, uh, the deposits underneath the ground, everybody benefits, right? The government would make money, everybody. But no, 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 they, they, these totalitarian idiots that like we have in Washington, D.C., they, they, you know, yay, yay, let's go to war in Ukraine, yay, yay. Uh, you know, that, that's, that's what, you know, you run into. So uh, that was a five, once again, middle of the road. Uh, we got Reyna, R-E-Y-N-A, Reyna Silver Corporation, and that's, uh, the ticker symbol is R-S-N-V-F, R-S-N-V-F. Now, he didn't give a comment on that, but he gave it the same thing, a five. It's right in the middle. So, uh, you know, I think these are positive uh, assessments. I mean, considering that, I'm going to tell you what, Rick Rule does not deploy his capital unless he's got a sure thing. But, I mean... He's, he's got the wherewithal to do that. You know, I, I'm just, these are, and by the way, these are all speculative. I mean, these are all hugely speculative. And so I'm just, I just go out and I'm hoping, you know, cause that, that's, that's where I've made the most money in my portfolio. I mean, I remember back in the day I bought a, a stock ARSD because it was all insider Biden buy-in and it was a gold mine out of Saudi Arabia. And man, I made a killing. I mean, it literally just mushroomed my portfolio into a huge uh, thing. So this is this is very disappointing because I've, I've seen a lot of YouTube channels talking about this and I think they're sponsoring a lot of channels. So you've got Silver Viper Mineral, Minerals Corporation. That's V-I-P-R-F, B-I-P-R-F. And uh, I, he doesn't like it. I mean, he gave it a ranking of seven. Now, I've only got maybe $200, $500 in that, you know, so... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm just telling you. Um, so that's that's that one. Uh, now, I've been promoting, and, and by the way, Rick does, I mean, I wouldn't say he's leaning on the negative side. Uranium Energy Corporation. Uranium Energy Corporation. That's UEC, UEC. Uh, like I told you, I've, I've made some money off of that. I actually do have a substantial position in that for me, you know. Um, so based on his rank, ranking of six, uh, as it goes up, because I've already made uh, a good money on it, I'm going to start selling off my position in that, just based on Rick's uh, 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 assessment. Now, here's a good one for you, and we talked about this, Uranium Royalty Corporation. Uranium Royalty Corporation, that's U-R-O-Y, U-R-O-Y. Okay, Rick has given that a ranking of five, which is neutral, okay? Um, so... I guess if you're going, if you want to invest in uranium, I, I, I guess what he's saying here is that Uroy is a bit better uh, way to invest in uranium. Um, I don't have a substantial position in Uroy. I do have one in UEC. So basically, what I'll do is sell UEC at a profit and and divert some of those funds probably into Uroy, right? So, I mean, this is, this is where you do your, your homework, where you do your research. Now, do I need to go in and look at all of these stocks and, and hit the balance sheets and everything? Yes. Yes, I do need to do it. So then we've got, um, uh, I don't even know how you pronounce this, Zekatikus Silver Corp. Zekatikus Silver Corp. That's Z-C-T-S-F. Z-C-T-S-F. And once again, I mean, I'm very proud. He gives it a five. So he's neutral on it. Uh, is Rick Rule investing in this? Probably not. I, I imagine Rick Rule only invests when he's got a one, two, or three because uh, he's a smart dude. But I can't do that. Now, we've got, um, I, I, I've invested in this, just a little bit of money. Vanek Merck Gold Trust. Vanek Merck Gold Trust. O-U-N-Z. O-U-N-Z. No opinion. He has no opinion on that. And so here's one. Uh, now, <clears throat> you know, I, I've told you the big companies. You got Barrick Gold and you got Newmont Corporation. And those are the, the, those are the big boys. That is, those are the ones that the GDX uh, ETF will invest in. And so, you know, those are, those are the way you want to go. Uh, and, and so I'm, I'm, I definitely want to deploy some more capital into this. It's Newmont Corporation, NEM. Uh, he gave that a four ranking. So of all of my investments, this is the only one that he's on the positive side about because I consider anything below five as somewhat impositive. And he does give a good comment. He says, improving, 
Okay, that's good. Too many two tier, too many tier two operations. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe leave a comment below. Let me know what a tier two operation is. Uh, Nevada consolidation with Barrick helps greatly. So anyway, in other words, Barrick and Newmont are working together, which is great. These are two huge companies. Uh, and Nevada, I mean, boy, I tell you, they got they got the, the they got the gold in the well. Remember the gold rush back in the day, eighteen hundreds. You know, they've got the, the the resources under the ground. It's just that right now we are um, um, just getting down to those deposits, and uh, so these these should be, if assuming that gold, silver, platinum, which I'm predicting, are going to. Well, I'm. How my ex-wife called me today and said that she heard a prediction that gold's going to go to four thousand dollars now. <laughs> I'm like, this is my my Democrat, you know, leaning Biden uh, loving uh, uh, ex-wife uh, that, that that is actually hearing about gold. So, it, as people wake up to the precious metals and wake up to the fact that your government is spending another $1.7 trillion dollars and wake up to the fact that we're sending another $38 billion dollars to Ukraine of money that we don't have and wake up to the fact that we're $32 trillion dollars in debt. Yes, people, you want to own some precious metals and I'm trying to give you alternative ways to do it. Okay, so these are, you can buy into these mines. Uh, you know, I, Obviously, I don't think I would go with Silver Viper. It's at a seven ranking. I that I, I might just sell that position if, if I've made money. I got to take a look, take a look at it because that's that's too much risk for me. I'll, I'll take off some risk there. Like I said, move UEC into UROI um, based on Rick Rule's rankings, and then I do need to spend some time looking at all of this. Um, so anyway, I'm just I'm just. Do you understand? I'm trying to help you. Okay. I'm trying to do the best I can, and uh, and I encourage you to do the same. I mean, if you've, uh, I, you know, I, I don't understand. I, 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 you go out there and you talk to people, and they go, "Oh, this is politics. This is politics to invest in mining companies. Oh, it's politics. What's the freaking politics about investing in something that might make you money? What's the politics about that, people? All you're trying to do is protect yourself and your wealth. You know." Buy a little silver and gold, you know, put a little coin in your in your grandson's stocking. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, that's it for this video. And I, that'll probably, I'm not going to make, well, I don't know, unless I see something really crazy. Uh, to Because uh, I'm just kind of chilling out for the night. I'm going to get a good night's sleep. And uh, maybe, maybe we'll get an adventure in tomorrow. I keep saying that, but the weather has been terrible. I can't, I can't strike out to go hike some trails uh, somewhere here in Florida. And just spend a day away from everything until uh, we have a turn in the weather. So anyway, that's that's it. Peace out, stay free. And obviously, I always finish with it's always good, 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 good to live in the free, free, free state of Florida. And, uh, you know, I, I at this point, I'm kind of wondering, you know, with what Washington, D.C. is doing and leave a comment below. What do you think? Are we going to break up as a country? Because I can't see. States like Texas and Florida and maybe Tennessee. Uh, well, of course, uh, Car by the way, that was uh, some good news uh, that it came out of the Kerry Lake story today. Uh, I didn't watch the trial. I was I was asleep because, like I said, I've been kind of under the weather. And uh, she's her case. It's it, it's going along well. I mean, they're showing a lot of bad stuff that took place in that Maricopa County. And she's proven things, or, or and she's got great lawyer representations through Robert Barnes and uh, some other people. Uh, I don't think Robert Barnes is direct. Direct. He's given advice. Let's just put it that way. I don't think he's uh, employed by her her team. We, you never know. I I think we may have a, a re-election in Maricopa County, which might get Carrie Lake over the over the top, and then we've got Arizona on board. So if the United States does break up into a, a civil war, um, that's another state that I think that's going to, because uh, what, what, what's happening at the border, you know, I can't believe that even the Democrats in Arizona are going along with that. I mean, it's just a horror story. Uh, the fentanyl that's coming across, just killing people by the thousands. Uh, and the Democrats are all for it. And the Rhino Republicans, you know, I've got to include them in the category. So we'll see. 
We'll see. You know, and, and I, I, I try to be like positive, like Dr. Steve Turley, you know, because he's, he's describing, you know, like I said, I'm watching the world burn, but hopefully someday we're going to be watching the world recover. And, uh, and that's my, my gift, my prayer, and uh, my belief in Jesus Christ. And I think that, you know, I'm just trying to help you and help you understand the world and what's taking place. All right, that's it.